I know, getting you answers about your upstate road concerns tonight and happening now. Traffic officials meeting with neighbors in Spartanburg County about plans to make a busy roundabout a whole lot safer. Hopefully. That's right. It's Thursday, so we are focusing on your roads. This project is at Heron Circle. That's the intersection of Asheville Highway and Business 85. Officials aim to ease congestion and cut down on crashes. Fox County's Berkeley Cromer has an update from the meeting. If you're one of the thousands of drivers that hits Heron Circle daily, you probably already know how busy this intersection can be. And a lot of those drivers are here at this meeting to find out more about this project. And traffic is not the only concern. This is also a hot spot for crashes. An in-depth analysis of a decade's worth of crash data from 2010 to 2020 revealed nearly 1,550 crashes. That's around 155 each year. Most of them were rear-end collisions with about 13% resulting in injuries. The new design for Heron Circle aims to make it safer and more efficient by modifying some of the routes that lead up to it. Officials say there would be two lanes for traffic going north and south, but reduced to one lane for traffic going east and west. They plan to close the Simuel Road entrance to Heron Circle and convert Charisma Drive and Business 85 southbound ramp to a one-way entrance into the circle. A driver who takes Heron Circle to work every day weighs in. Being forced to like go through Heron Circle has gotten worse, so that's why I came to the meeting today. But the proposed changes aren't any better for the area either. It's like um, so far, like what I've noticed, it's going to make it significantly worse for like the communities in the area. So it's like. I believe like Saxon, Una and Arcadia are losing their like direct access to 85 through that way and then they're being redirected towards Howard Street, which is like significantly increases the commute time. A traffic study found that 60% of crashes at Heron Circle occur between the hours of 12 p.m. and 5 p.m., highlighting peak traffic times as the most problematic. And construction on this proposed project is expected to begin in the summer of 2026 and it will take about 18 months. Reporting in Spartanburg County, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox, Carolina News. And here we go. Now it is your turn at home. Go and grab that cell phone, open up that camera app, scan that QR code there on your screen. Now what that does, it'll take you straight to that submission form so that way you can let us know what upstate road that you want us to look into next. We know they are not the best. We know that there are a lot of complaints about a lot of roads. So go ahead and let us know. Scan that code, take you straight to that submission form so that way you can go ahead and fill that out. Give us the road that you want us to look into to get answers on for you. If you don't have your phone handy, no problem. Just go to our website or our free Fox Carolina News app. Click on Getting Answers and then Report a Road.